All right, we're going to talk about the things that nobody knows about acute pancreatitis. There's two physical exam findings that are lesser known and show up occasionally on the USMLE and COMLEX. So it's the Gray Turner sign and the Cullen sign. The Gray Turner sign is ecchymosis and bruising on your flank in a patient with acute pancreatitis that is hemorrhagic. And so the Cullen sign is periumbilical ecchymosis that you can see in these patients as well. I remember the difference as the gray Turner sign, you'd have to turn the patient to see their side to see that ecchymosis. So that's fact number one. Fact number two is that you oftentimes will get questions and actually in real life, these patients presenting after an ERCP. And so an ERCP is often done to take a gallstone out of the colon bile duct for a patient with cholelithiasis. And so that inflammation in the biliary sludge can back up and it can cause inflammation in the pancreas and you can result with pancreatitis after the procedure itself. So look for a patient that has cholelithiasis or similar callstone related etiology, and they now get an ERCP and then resolve with pancreatitis. That's important to know. Three, you need to know the meds that are associated with acute pancreatitis. Protease inhibitors and NRTIs are high on the list. You can also see patients with sulfa drugs get pancreatitis. And then last but not least, some of your anti-seizure meds, but like valproic acid, you can see it in some odds and ends like steroids as well, which is part of the get smash mnemonic. The S stands for steroids, scorpion stings, and spider bites. So those are all really, really high yield associations that a lot of people don't know for the exam. The next thing is a sentinel loop on their imaging. So a sentinel loop is an inflamed stretch of bowel, and it's usually just one little stretch of the bowel that gets inflamed from the pancreatic inflammation. And so you're not going to have colitis or any kind of diffuse inflammatory condition. It's just one single loop that you'll see on the imaging that kind of clues you in that this patient may have acute pancreatitis. And that's it. Those are some of the high yield things that most people don't know about acute pancreatitis. Study hard.